Hello friends, now you are watching part 4. I hope you have already watched part 1, 2, 3 to understand how to get the data into Power Query Editor, how to create measures, what is date, dimension table, etc. In this video, I am going to create the basic report using created measures. The first visual I am going to use is the card. I need to add 6 tiles of this card visual because I would like to show the revenue, cost and profit for the current year and the last year. So I am just adding total revenue to it and the text size is bit high so I need to change the data label text size to 30 and the category label size to 18. Let me add the border and then copy paste control C control V and then in this I need to add total cost and then again control C control V in this I need to add total profit now let me select all of them control C control V and let me add them to it and then in this I need to add my previous year measures one is to previous year revenue so let me select total revenue previous year revenue this is previous year cost and this is previous year profit The last visual is what is my profit percentage. Just select it. What is my current year profit percentage? For that, I need to add that. And the text label is bit, the text size is bit high, so I need to change it. Make it a little small. That way. Now, one visual is finished where I need to control them. I need to see which is previous year and which is current year for that let me add year and quarter slicers adding a slicer in the slicer from the dates table adding year and since it is a number this will become as a slider to make the slider as a list of uh, items I can select list from the small drop down available there and then I can convert this to a slicer Let me remove the slicer header because I, I know that these are years but items font color is white and background color is blue. Now I can see this text properly and let me bring them on the top. Another slicer I am creating. In this I would like to add the quarter. Just replace with quarter so that you can see the quarter numbers. Now if I select 2018, you can see the numbers are changing and if I see quarter 1, the numbers are changing further. Also let me add a drop down for month so that I can see the information by month. Before getting into that, you need to make sure the month name is sorted by month number otherwise the month names in the drop down will not come in a proper manner like Jan, Feb, March. They will come in a different order sorted order by text for that I need to select month name and then in the modeling tab select sort by column and select month number so that the text will be sorted properly as Jan Feb March. Now let me select a slicer and in this slicer I am just adding the month name. Now you can see the months are coming in an order because I have selected and that sorted by month number is done properly. Then I wanted to make it as a drop down. Let me add a border to it. So let me select formatting option and border and keep this next to the other slicers. That way I can see now the information by month as well. 
adding a slicer for revenue cost and profit can help me to drill down the information accordingly for that i need to create a helper table that is home tab enter data there the name of the table is type selection and then column heading will be type then revenue cost and profit accordingly i want to have an index that is 1 2 3 and if i load this i'll get a table now i can create a slicer but when i add the items to the slicer those items cost revenue cost and profit will not come in the same order profit will come first and then cost and then revenue so for that i need to make sure the type column is sorted by that is in the modeling tab by column called index so that whenever i add the slicer the items are coming in the proper order so i have taken care of that i'm selecting a slicer now in the slicer i'm adding type now you can see revenue is coming on the far top and then cost and then profit to make this as a slicer i can just go to general and change the orientation to horizontal and then rest is just select the other slicer where from i can borrow the format go to home tab select format painter and click on it and decrease the height now this slicer is also available what is the benefit of it if i select revenue my other report that means i would be creating few more tiles where the information should show by as revenue and if i select cost only the cost should be shown and if i select profit accordingly the information should come up for that i need to create a measure called trigger so that measure will be i'm creating the measure in the same table since it is relatively pertaining to that table not necessary you have to create there but it is my comfort zone so i'm just selecting a new measure the measure name is trigger equal selected value and type and alternatively let it be revenue so if i don't select anything it will be revenue otherwise it will be the selected one let us see what happens with this just press enter to activate this measure now if i select any card to test it if i add the trigger the measure by default it is showing revenue because in the measure i said if i don't select anything please select revenue if i select cost it will be cost if i select pro profit it will be profit and if i don't select anything it will be revenue and selecting revenue also it is revenue so that way i'm able to create a trigger now now i can use the trigger into my calculations let me add a new measure the measure name is element selection what is element selection if i select revenue from the slicer i should be able to get only that into my charts or visuals so i'm using a switch function switch true it is a replacement for if i can use if function also i'm using switch function now this can be used in excel trigger equal revenue then it has to be a total revenue and trigger equals cost then total cost and trigger equal profit then it has to be total profit otherwise by default if i don't select anything it has to be total revenue let us see what happens through a simple card so that we can understand what is happening let me add the card and add the element selection measure here so by default it is showing 190 million that is uh, revenue you can see this is the total revenue 
if I select cost, it is showing the cost. If I select profit, it is showing the profit. So in the card, it is coming as an element selection, but we can change the name in the visual by using conditional formatting. So now this has given me a scope to create the visuals and change the element or the visualization based on my selection. In the next video, that is in part five, I'm going to show you how to add remaining visuals to the report and adding colors and adding title chart titles using conditional formatting.